Hello everyone, in this video I will explain how to use normalizer transformation in Informatica Cloud. As you can see normalizer transformation is active and connected transformation. It transforms one incoming row with multiple occurrence into multiple rows and it generates a GK, GC ID and GK fields. And as you can see, uh, if I have the source like this, like batch band name, match 1, match 2, match 3, match 4, the names are like Ramin, Santos and Sayan. Match 1, uh, 30 runs, 15 runs, 0, 51, like that. Then uh, you can see in the target, it will be um, for each uh, batsman, um, uh, the runs will be there in multiple rows. So, a column into rows conversion will happen. Let's go to ISCS. Uh, let me create the mapping to show how it works. Go to new click on mapping create oh, m underscore normalizer now we want to select the source select the connection select the source let's go to the fields and see the fields batsman name match one match two match three match four let's add the normalizer maximize you can see the incoming fields normalize field delete those fields so select this batsman name its uh, occurrence will be one then uh, create a new field make it as a run and, uh, occurrence will be four as it's occurring four times you can see in the source it is there four times that's why i have mentioned occurrence as four you can see a gc id and gk run these two fields have been auto created let's go to the field mapping i'll map the batsman name here match one to run one match two to run two match three to run three match four to run so as you can see in occurrence i have created one field but occurrence four that's why four fields have been created here in the field mapping now let's go to the target you can see incoming fields if you don't want to populate the GCID and GK you can um, uh, exclude those here that's why it's, uh, in this example let it be there I want to show you what all values are getting populated now you select the flat file target connection select I want to create the target during run time, so I'll make it run dot csv. Mapping has been created. Let's save this mapping. Let's create the mapping task. Click on new mapping task. Provide a name empty underscore mapping name then uh, select the runtime click on next now click on finish so our mapping and mapping task both have been created now let's run the mapping task it's running go to my jobs you can see here the, uh, the job is running now the mapping task is running and it has completed click on this and you can see from source three records are coming but in target 14 records happening 
loaded. Let's go to the target path. Yeah, this is the target file which have been generated now. Yes, as you can see here, 14 records have been loaded. Let's take it to the file and show there. can see here oh, for this record dungeon four uh, records are there you can see four entries four records have been uh, four uh, fields are there you can see four records have been uh, generated 30 15 0 51 30 15 0 51 similarly for the next uh, set of records fields have been loaded <clears throat> and uh, we can see gk run gk run it will generate the uh, sequence or uh, the number of records it will the it will create the sequence like 1 2 3 4 as 12 records are there it has generated the sequence as 1 to 12 and you can see here for this uh, combination for this ranjan record it has generated 1 2 3 4 for this santos it has generated 1 2 3 4 it means for that occurrence it will show it will create the gen number of records there number of uh, sequence so as you can see here in this way the column to row conversion happens using the normalizer transform scheme thank you